Hare Krishna. The weighing scale does not lie. When people overeat, become obese and face health problems, they are often told to diet and being told by their doctors, their caregivers, their relatives, they may even start on a diet. But the urge to eat may be so strong that in public, when they are in the presence of others, they may eat a very frugal diet. But in private, they may indulge and binge on all their favorite fatty or other unhealthy foods. They may put on a face in front of others that, oh, I am eating uh, regulatedly. But their moment of truth will come when they have to stand on the weighing scale. The weighing scale will not lie. Whatever they have eaten, if it is unhealthy, if it is fatty, that will show up as the increased weight in their weighing scale. Now, the same principle applies to us on the journey of our spiritual growth. We as souls are meant to be energetic, joyful, vivacious, animated by our love for Krishna and reciprocating in a mode of loving service with Him. But when we get and our consciousness gets filled and burdened with worldly desires, I want this, I want that, I want that, these become like a weight which de-energizes because getting material things uh, is a never-ending, exhausting process. Most of the times we don't get the things which we want. Even if we get them, they don't satisfy us and the craving for something more again starts tormenting us. So therefore, the important thing is if we start practicing spiritual life, we understand, oh, I, I need to give up these material attachments. I need to stop the material indulgences. Then I will, I will lose this de-energizing flab and become energized. Still, the attachments are very strong and giving them up is not easy. So, uh, in public, we may say that we are living a principle-centered life, we are not indulging in worldly pleasures, but privately we may indulge. And the result will be the weight on our consciousness will remain. Krishna talks about this in the Bhagavad Gita in 2.59 when he says, Vishaya vinivartante niraha rasya dehinaha rasavarjyam raso pyasya param drishtva nivartate. So he says, Vishaya vinivartante. Then we decide, okay, I'll not indulge in this. Uh, we'll give up the sense of jiva. Niraha rasya dehinaha, but we'll be, I, I, I'm without food, how will I manage? Rasavarjyam raso pyasya. We give up the rasa, but still the taste remains. We give up the indulgence, but the taste remains. Param drishtvani vartati. But when we get a higher taste, when we experience higher happiness, then we will become peaceful. So just as the purpose of dieting is not to not starvation, it is to eat healthy, and the only way a person can maintain a healthy weight and maintain a diet is if they get a taste for healthy eating. Then the weight loss will be sustainable. Otherwise, they may lose weight, again the weight will accumulate. So similarly for us, when our moment of truth comes, that comes especially at the time of death. The weight of the karma that we have entertained in our heart and the karma that we have done in private, that will determine our post-mortem destination. Rather than letting us elevate upwards towards Krishna, we will sink downwards according to our karma. Uh, so knowing that our moment of truth will come in future, sooner or later, we can strive diligently to change that truth towards the positive. That means to change, to remove the karma and to remove the selfish desire and to change the karma. And while this may seem very difficult, we may feel as if I'm starving, I'm without pleasure. But if we start practicing bhakti diligently and we prayerfully connect with Krishna, then that connection with Krishna, who is the source of all happiness, will slowly give us higher happiness. And as that higher happiness starts streaming into our consciousness, then we will lose our taste for worldly indulgences. And when we are situated in joyful service to Krishna, then that which seems impossible of resisting worldly indulgences 
and staying pure, staying spiritually light, that will become attainable and relishable. Thank you. Great.